lifestyle and ways of life that few outsiders have ever seen. Join us as we explore the captivating world of the top 15 most enigmatic tribes on Earth. Number 15. Lala Tribe The Lala Tribe, also known as the Court Slalit Tribe, is a close-knit community of around 150 people, with a smaller offshoot of about a dozen members. While a few have shown interest in the outside world, most prefer to remain secluded, preserving their traditional way of life. Skilled in hunting and combat, the tribe relies on clubs and occasionally poison arrows, but they have no modern weapons. They work about five hours a day and live in large oval communal houses called malakas, built from palm leaves and wood. These structures accommodate multiple families and serve as the center of social and ceremonial activities. Although the tribe does not follow any formal religion, some reports suggest infanticide is practiced. Both men and women paint their bodies with a red dye from the Rocco plant, believed to protect against insects and the sun's harsh rays. Despite avoiding modernity, the Lala tribe thrives in their environment, subsisting on grains, birds, wild pigs, and fruits, supported by their agricultural skills. They practice slash and burn farming to grow crops like manioc, sweet potatoes, and bananas. Elders make decisions through consensus, and their rich oral tradition ensures the preservation of stories and knowledge. Though they face challenges like malaria due to their environment and lack of modern medicine, the Lala tribe remains resilient, upholding their deep connection to their land and cultural heritage. Number 14. Akunsu Tribe An almost unknown indigenous group from the dense forests of Rondonia, Brazil, the Akunsu tribe is now perilously close to extinction, with only four members remaining. Their language, Akonso, is among the least documented, adding an aura of mystery to their culture. In the 1980s, the Akunsu were a thriving community until a brutal massacre, orchestrated by Brazilian cattle ranchers, decimated their population. The ranchers feared that formal recognition of the tribe would lead to their land being declared an indigenous reserve, limiting their ranching activities. Living deep within the Amazon rainforest, the Akunsu have traditionally survived through hunting, gathering, and small-scale agriculture, using knowledge passed down through generations to thrive in their challenging environment. The tribe remained largely isolated until official contact was made in the late 1990s, marking their first significant interaction with the outside world beyond occasional meetings with neighboring tribes. This contact brought both hope and new challenges as efforts were made to support their survival and preserve their cultural identity. In 2000, tragedy struck when the youngest tribe member, a girl, died in a tragic accident deeply affecting the tight-knit community. In the following years, the loss of the eldest member and their spiritual leader further weakened the tribe. Today, the last four Akunsu persist, embodying resilience in the face of overwhelming cultural and environmental challenges. Number 13. Yali Tribe The Yali people, an indigenous tribe inhabiting the rugged highlands of Papua Province, Indonesia, reside in the remote Jaya Regency, where their homeland rises over 2,000 meters above sea level. This geographical isolation has preserved their unique customs and traditional attire, distinguishing them as one of the region's most fascinating tribes. Yali men wear the kota, a penis sheath made from dried watermelon, while Yali women don intricately woven grass skirts. Both men and women decorate themselves with elaborate facial tattoos and symbolic body paint, reflecting their deep-rooted animistic beliefs. The Yali people rely on subsistence farming and hunting for survival, cultivating crops like sweet potatoes and taro through shifting agriculture. Wild pigs and cassowaries also feature prominently in their diet, emphasizing their deep connection to nature. Yali society is organized into small, kin-based clans, living in communal longhouses made from wood, bamboo, and grass. Their culture is rich in rituals and ceremonies, passed down through oral traditions, celebrating ancestors and natural spirits with elaborate dances, songs, and traditional instruments. In recent decades, the Yali have faced increasing external influences, 
from missionary activities to government policies and infrastructure projects, challenging their traditional way of life. While these interactions have brought advancements in healthcare and education, they also threaten the Yali's cultural autonomy. Efforts are underway to preserve their unique identity through sustainable development, aiming to balance modernization with cultural conservation. The Yali people exemplify resilience, striving to maintain their distinct way of life amidst a rapidly changing world. Number 12. Huarani Tribe Deep within the Ecuadorian Amazon, the Huarani tribe has long been known as fierce guardians of their ancestral lands. For centuries, they have lived in harmony with the rainforest, relying on its abundant resources for both survival and spiritual sustenance. The Huarani are skilled hunters, adept at using blowguns with arrows coated in plant toxins to hunt monkeys, birds, and other animals. Their expertise extends to gathering, as they harvest a diverse array of fruits, nuts, and medicinal plants from the forest. Their profound understanding of the Amazon's ecology, passed down through generations, has enabled them to thrive in this challenging environment. In recent decades, the Huarani have faced mounting threats from oil exploration and logging encroaching on their territory. In response, they have fiercely defended their land, at times resorting to violence to protect their resources. In the 1990s, the Huarani achieved a significant legal victory against oil companies, securing their ancestral land rights and setting an important precedent for indigenous rights in Ecuador. However, despite these triumphs, the Huarani continue to face pressures from the outside world. Some have been compelled to adapt to modern life, relocating to settlements outside the forest and pursuing new economic opportunities. Yet many remain steadfast in their commitment to preserving their traditional way of life, living deep within the Amazon and maintaining their vital connection to the land. Number 11. Surma Tribe Often referred to as nomads by other Ethiopians, the Surma and neighboring tribes have largely abandoned their once migratory lifestyle. In the past, they roamed freely, with fewer people and less competition for grazing land. Today, however, they live a more settled existence, relying primarily on cultivated grains for sustenance while continuing to herd cattle, a vital part of their cultural identity. The Surma are particularly renowned for their stick fighting, an intense and captivating tradition. In these contests, participants wield six-foot hardwood poles weighing nearly two pounds. Gripping the poles with both hands, they aim to strike their opponents as many times as possible in an offer to knocking them down, eliminating them from the match. Typically, the competitors are unmarried men, and the winner is ceremoniously carried on a platform of poles to a group of young women, who then decide among themselves who will propose marriage. The appearance of Surma women can be striking to outsiders, particularly due to their tradition of wearing lip plates. Inserted in their early 20s, the plates are gradually stretched over a year. Made from clay, these discs are carefully crafted, colored with ochre and charcoal, and baked in a fire. The size of the lip plate is significant, as it determines the bride price, with a large plate worth up to 50 head of cattle. This remarkable tradition is just one of the many intriguing aspects of the enigmatic Surma tribe. Number 10. Sand People of South Africa The Sand People, also known as Bushmen, are one of the oldest continuous human populations, with a history extending back tens of thousands of years. They live across southern Africa, in regions like Botswana, Namibia, Angola, Zambia, Zimbabwe, and South Africa. Celebrated for their extraordinary survival skills, the San maintain a deep connection with their environment, and possess a rich cultural heritage that sheds light on early human societies. Traditionally, they inhabit the Kalahari Desert and surrounding areas, characterized by harsh terrain, sparse vegetation, and diverse wildlife. Their extensive knowledge of this tough environment has enabled them to thrive where others struggle. Historically, the San have been hunter-gatherers, using skilled techniques for hunting and foraging, they rely on bows with poisoned arrows, traps, and other inventive methods for hunting game, and gather a variety of edible plants, roots, 
berries, and nuts. Their diet is diverse and nutritious, showcasing their deep ecological understanding. Sand society is egalitarian, with decisions made collectively and resources shared within the community. Leadership is fluid, based on the expertise needed at the time, emphasizing cooperation and strong social bonds. Sand languages are distinguished by their complex click sounds and belong to the Khoisan language family, enriching their oral traditions. Spiritually, the San are closely linked to nature, believing in many spirits and deities connected to natural forces. Shamans act as healers and spiritual guides, performing trance dances essential for communicating with the spirit world and guiding their community. Number 9. Matsis Tribe Deep in the Amazon rainforest along the Peru-Brazil border, the Matsis tribe is renowned for their deep knowledge of plant medicine. With a history spanning thousands of years, the Matsis use the forest's rich variety of medicinal plants to treat everything from minor ailments like headaches to severe issues such as malaria and snake bites. A cornerstone of their medicinal practice is Nunu, a potent snuff made from the bark of a rare tree native to their land. This snuff is integral to their rituals and ceremonies, believed to promote both physical and spiritual healing. Shamans administer Nunu during ceremonies to cleanse and restore well-being. In addition to Nunu, the Matsis are knowledgeable about other medicinal plants, such as the Sangre de Grado tree's sap, used for wound healing, and the ayahuasca vine, employed in spiritual rituals to induce visions. Recently, the Matsis have confronted threats from logging and oil exploration invading their territory. In response, they have teamed up with international organizations to defend their land and culture. The establishment of the Matsis Indigenous Reserve helps protect their environment from deforestation. They also use modern tools like GPS to monitor and preserve their land, ensuring the survival of their unique cultural and ecological heritage. Number 8. AWA Brazil The AWA, or Guaja, are among the few remaining hunter-gatherer tribes in Brazil's Amazon rainforest, specifically in Maranhão State's northeastern region. Despite the pressures of modernization and deforestation, they have managed to retain their traditional way of life. The AWA live in the dense rainforests of the eastern Amazon, particularly around the Garupi River Basin. This remote and challenging environment has helped preserve their cultural and ecological knowledge, keeping them largely isolated from mainstream society. As traditional hunter-gatherers, the AWA rely on the forest's bounty for survival. They hunt monkeys, wild pigs, and birds with bows, arrows, and blowguns, and gather a variety of fruits, nuts, and roots to complement their diet. Their deep knowledge of the rainforest enables them to identify edible plants, medicinal herbs, and materials for tools and shelters. The AWA live in small nomadic groups made up of extended families. They move throughout their territory in search of resources, making decisions collectively through consensus. However, the AWA face increasing threats from loggers, ranchers, and illegal settlers, leading to deforestation and land conflicts. Government and indigenous rights groups are working to protect their lands and preserve their way of life. The Awa's resilience highlights the importance of safeguarding their traditional knowledge and cultural heritage for the health of both their community and the Amazon rainforest. Number 7. Sentinel India Tribe The Sentinelese, one of the most enigmatic and uncontacted tribes globally, inhabit North Sentinel Island, part of the Andaman and Nicobar Islands in the Bay of Bengal, India. Thought to have lived in isolation for up to 60,000 years, the Sentinelese maintain a lifestyle that has remained largely unchanged for millennia. Their resistance to external contact is notorious, with the tribe often reacting with hostility towards intruders. This staunch isolation has preserved their unique culture, but also rendered them one of the least understood tribes on Earth. To protect the Sentinelese and their way of life, the Indian government has imposed strict regulations, including a ban on approaching within three nautical miles of North Sentinel Island. 
This measure is intended to prevent the introduction of diseases to which the tribe has no immunity and to honor their wish for isolation. Very little is known about their language, social structure, or customs, with most information coming from limited and often hostile interactions. Significant incidents, such as the 2006 killing of two fishermen who drifted onto the island and the 2018 death of American missionary John Allen Chow, underscore the tribe's firm commitment to remaining uncontacted. These events highlight the ethical debate surrounding indigenous rights, emphasizing the importance of respecting their autonomy and preserving their cultural heritage. Number six, Asaro Mudmen. The Mudmen, an indigenous tribe from the eastern highlands of Papua New Guinea, are renowned for their distinctive ceremonial masks and vibrant Sing Sing festivals. Residing near the Asaro River, the tribe's name derives from this river, and they live in small, tightly knit communities around Goroka. The Asaro tribe speaks the Dano dialect, a unique language belonging to the Kainantu Goruka family, which is spoken only in this specific area. Due to their isolated existence, different clans along the river have developed their own dialects. One of the most notable features of the Mudmen is their fearsome Holosa masks, which are crafted from mud and clay. The origin of these masks is steeped in local legend. According to tradition, the Asaro tribe once sought refuge from an attacking neighboring tribe by hiding in the Asaro River. When they emerged covered in white clay and gray mud, their enemies mistook them for spirits and fled in terror. The Asaro used this fear to their advantage, creating masks from natural materials like clay and stones to continue scaring off adversaries. Today, these masks play a central role in the tribe's cultural practices, worn during ceremonies and festivals. Each mask is a unique work of art, often adorned with horns, tusks, and other features, while bamboo is used to create elongated fingers that enhance their eerie appearance. The Mudmen's enduring traditions not only reflect their rich cultural heritage, but also continue to fascinate and intimidate. Number five, Yanomami tribe. The Yanomami tribe, one of the largest relatively isolated groups in the Amazon rainforest, has captivated researchers with their unique social structure and deep ecological knowledge. Inhabiting the borderlands between Brazil and Venezuela, the Yanomami have maintained their traditional way of life for centuries, despite growing external pressures. Central to their society is a complex network of alliances and rivalries, managed through elaborate rituals. A key aspect of their social organization is the Shabono, a large, circular communal dwelling where several families live together, fostering strong social bonds and cooperation. The Yanomami are also celebrated for their profound understanding of the Amazon's ecosystem. They have an intricate knowledge of local plants, animals, and natural processes, which they use to sustain their way of life. Their agricultural practices include shifting cultivation, where they clear small patches of forest for farming and allow the land to recover before replanting. This sustainable approach reflects their deep connection to their environment and contributes to their role as crucial custodians of the Amazon's biodiversity. By working with scientists, the Yanomami have shared valuable insights into rainforest conservation enhancing our understanding of ecological balance and sustainability. Number four, Himba tribe. The Himba people, numbering around 50,000 and residing in Namibia's harsh northern regions, have thrived in one of the world's most extreme climates, where temperatures vary drastically from scorching heat during the day to near freezing cold at night. Their resilience is showcased through their unique cultural practices and attire, Himba women are particularly known for applying a mixture of red ochre, butterfat, and aromatic herbs, called otjize, to their skin and hair. This not only protects their skin from the intense sun, but also carries profound cultural significance, representing their bond with the land and their ancestors. Socially, the Himba are organized into clans, each led by a chief or headman who is pivotal in decision-making and resolving disputes. Their traditional homes, known as kraals, are cone-shaped huts constructed from a framework of young trees covered with mud and dung. These dwellings are both practical and hold spiritual meaning, 
reflecting the Himba's deep connection to their heritage and environment. Economically, the Himba rely on subsistence farming and cattle herding. Cattle are central to their economy, playing roles in rituals such as weddings and initiation ceremonies. The Himba's nomadic lifestyle is dictated by the need for water and grazing land, ensuring the health and survival of their herds. While some Himba have adopted modern education and healthcare, others remain committed to their traditional ways, preserving their cultural identity amid modern pressures. Number 3. Chukchi People The Chukchi, an intriguing indigenous group from the far northeastern regions of Siberia, Russia, live a life intricately intertwined with their environment. Also known as the Laura, the Chukchi numbered about 14,000 by the late 20th century and are split into two primary groups, the Reindeer Chukchi and the Maritime Chukchi. Despite speaking similar languages, their lifestyles are adapted to their distinct surroundings. The Reindeer Chukchi are nomadic, relying on their domesticated reindeer for transportation, milk, meat, and pelts. They move seasonally to find fresh grazing grounds, living in portable tents and traveling on sleds drawn by reindeer or dogs. Conversely, the maritime Chukchi have settled in permanent communities and thrive on the ocean's resources. They engage in fishing and hunting marine animals, using boats constructed from wooden frames covered with animal skins. Both Chukchi groups share a profound spiritual connection to their environment, believing in the presence of invisible spirits. Their spiritual practices are marked by shamanistic rituals for healing and divination and include sacrificial festivals. The Chuchi's diverse yet cohesive ways of life and their deep cultural traditions highlight their remarkable adaptation to Siberia's challenging landscapes. Number 2. Agori Tribe The Agori Tribe, with origins dating back over a thousand years, is renowned for its unconventional practices and radical approach to achieving spiritual enlightenment. Followers of a Hindu sect dedicated to seeking moksha, liberation, the Agori adhere to a path that starkly contrasts with mainstream Hindu beliefs. They revere deities such as Shiva, the destroyer, and Kali, the goddess of death, which contributes to their fearsome reputation. Typically found at cremation sites like those in Varanasi, as well as in remote locations such as Himalayan caves, Bengali jungles, and Gujarat's deserts, the Agori are infamous for their extreme rituals. One of the most shocking practices involves consuming human flesh. They do not engage in killing for this purpose, but instead eat the flesh of corpses from cremation grounds, sometimes consuming it raw or roasted. In addition to this, the Agori drink urine and eat feces, believing that such acts help dismantle the false distinctions between good and evil, and human and animal. They often forego traditional clothing, opting for minimal attire or even nudity, to transcend shame and material concerns. Covering themselves in ash from cremations symbolizes their devotion to Shiva and is believed to offer protection from disease. Using skulls, particularly the Kapala, as ritual bowls shared with animals underscores their rejection of conventional norms regarding cleanliness and purity. Despite their extreme practices, the Agori view these rites as essential steps towards spiritual enlightenment and detachment from worldly attachments. Number 1. Korowai Tribe In the heart of Papua, Indonesia's verdant rainforests, the Korowai Tribe is distinguished by their impressive treehouses. These elevated dwellings, which can reach heights of up to 150 feet above the forest floor, are accessed via ladders made from branches and vines, often a precarious ascent. The Korowai construct these towering homes primarily for protection against rival tribes, to avoid insects like mosquitoes, and to keep safe from the spirits they believe inhabit the ground below. Each treehouse accommodates a single family, while larger communal structures serve as venues for gatherings and ceremonies. Historically, there were rumors that the Korowai engaged in ritual cannibalism, consuming the flesh of deceased relatives as a means to release their spirits. However, recent research has challenged these claims, suggesting that earlier accounts by explorers and anthropologists may have been misinterpreted or exaggerated. The Korowai are adept hunter-gatherers, employing bows and arrows to hunt pigs, birds, and other wildlife. 
They also farm sago, a vital starch derived from the sago palm, which forms a significant part of their diet. Additionally, the Korowai are skilled artisans, creating intricate wood carvings from the materials available in their lush rainforest environment. Which of these 15 enigmatic tribes captured your interest the most? Feel free to share your thoughts and comments below.